photography, videography, and travel. How do we do it all? In short, I just don't think that you can. Well, at least I don't think you can while being present and enjoying it and not going a little bit crazy trying to capture it all and spreading yourself a little bit too thin. Let me explain a little bit more. Last weekend, I went to Porto for a long weekend. It was an amazing place. Absolutely loved it and highly recommend it if you've never been. Now, I started off with grand plans. I was gonna shoot everything. I was gonna shoot photo, video, I had my drone, I had my camera and I had my phone. I wanted to capture things from like Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, to post photos, to post video, to post long form, short form, use this lens, use that lens, capture it all pretty much. However, I quickly realized that this was probably gonna be a little bit too much of a tall order and it was all becoming a little bit overwhelming. So I had to take a check on myself. It all started really well. Here I am in Gatwick and I made this cool little intro. And that's pretty much where the video story ended because as I mentioned, I had a bit of a check, I had a bit of a rain check, stopped myself and thought, what am I doing here? What do I want to achieve from this trip in terms of creatively? And you know, I wanted to enjoy this trip. I wanted to be present in the moment. And I was just finding that with all these ideas rushing around my head, I just wasn't quite sure what I was doing. I didn't know which camera to pick up. I didn't know which format to shoot in or what I was doing. So I stripped it right back and I took it back to the fact that I personally love to shoot photography. That's probably my core and that's what my number one passion is. It always has been. And that's kind of why I make videos around that to share my love for making pictures. But ultimately it's actually capturing the photos themselves that gives me the most enjoyment. I like shooting them and I like editing them and I like sharing them. So that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna use my camera predominantly to shoot these quality images because I love the look and the quality that I get out of my camera. What this then enabled me to do is kind of free my mind, enjoy the trip and actually come away with an amazing body of photos. I got over a hundred photos that I'm really, really happy with. I got a few portfolio shots, which is absolutely amazing because you can't always expect those, as well as some shots to capture the sense of the place, the time we had, the food we ate, the people that were there, the people I spent time with. And I tried out a little bit of street photography as well, which is something that I'm just getting into. It took the pressure off completely. The only choices I had to make were what lens I was gonna use, and I tried to keep that as simple as possible as well. I used a wide angle lens for my kind of landscape and scenic shop shots. And then I had uh, my more tele sort of macro lens on to shoot some street style photography, which as I said, I'm just getting into and pick out some details of the place. It worked really well. And I'll overlay some of my images here because as I said, I'm really, really pleased with them. I didn't come away with any video, but that's okay because I've got those photos. And I just don't think if I had to try to capture video along the way, as I started out doing that morning on the first day, I would have just been all over the shop. And I think I would have come out with kind of a quite a light sprinkling of things all over the place. And maybe that would have been okay. Maybe some people like to do that, but personally I like to really get good depth and quality in just kind of one thing and get a good outcome and nice package because for me, I want to make those memories and I'm trying to capture those quality images that I can share on my website, on my Instagram, and hopefully use for some print as well, because I want to try and get into printing some photo books as again, to keep those memories in a kind of a, a hard format. All this to say, it doesn't have to be photography. Obviously I could have chosen video and that probably would have worked out equally as well. And I would have come out with some really quality video, but I think it's quite important to just try and check yourself in these situations just to make sure that you actually enjoy the time that you're there as well um, and just come away with what you really, really want. I guess it doesn't all have to be premeditated and pre-planned and I certainly didn't do that before I left. It kind of just came to me as I was traveling, which is absolutely fine. Um, and just to make sure that, you know, 
you, you, you know what you want to get out of it. If I wanted to get a really solid travel vid video for my YouTube channel of Porto, then maybe I would have prior prioritised that. Fortunately, I'm still able to make this video um, with some of the clips that I did get. I just got a few along the way. And one of the beauties of flying a drone is, you know, even though you've gone up there to take some photos, it would seem a little bit rude not to just press the video button while you're kind of flying about, especially in such incredible conditions as I had one morning while flying, which I'll insert here because when a mist rolls in, you've got to capture it. So I hope this helps a little bit in terms of making you think about the fact that you maybe it's quite tricky to capture it all and just take the pressure off yourself a little bit. I'd love to know if you have any ideas about how to capture it all or certainly split time between photo and video because it is something I've found quite tricky in the past and I've definitely come away from some trips or some days out where I haven't quite achieved what I wanted to because I was trying to do everything. So if you do have any ideas, drop them down below and I hope you took a little snippet out of my ramblings here and enjoyed some of the images and content from Porto in Portugal. Lovely, lovely place. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Um, thank you for watching. A few new subscribers, so drop the video a thumbs up and a subscribe. It really does help the channel to grow. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.